Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Baldy underscore OD. In today's video, I just want to talk about some realistic, like, geef buffs for season two. Season two coming around the corner. I think the character has potential so long as they don't, like, give him anything, like, really bad or useless or um, just, like, like, let him do the things he wants to do without having to worry about it not working. Because right now, Geef is a pretty weak character. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and he could definitely be better if they just improve and fix the things that he's good at, but have that, but like have issues, or like maybe even make like moves that are currently useless right now a bit more use, a bit more useful than they are. Because there are definitely a few moves that Geef has that I would say are actually useless, and that's not really a problem other characters have. I I don't really know why Geef is the only one that has to have that issues, but I digress. First one I want to talk about is Lariat. Lariat, 15 frames meterlessly, 12 frames if you EX it. This move kind of sucks, I'm going to be honest. As an anti-air, it's very slow. Even the EX one is pretty slow as an anti-air. Um, it's anti-invol on frame 6, so some moves will just outright beat it. Or like if they do like a meaty... If they just do like a meaty jump, doesn't even have to be a safe jump. They do a meaty like jump, it'll it'll just beat Lariat even if you EX it, cause both versions of Lariat are have their air interval on frame six. That's not good. Compared to a DP, it's frame one from frame six. That is a massive difference. He's not the only character with this issue too. Um Aki and Rashid also have their anti-airs being really slow, which just makes it to where they get stuffed out in times that other characters just outright wouldn't. Um, but that's not the main point. The main point is if Lariat was faster, not only would he be able to cross cut, which would solve his like the whole fact that Lariat can't um like hit cross up problem, because that's the main issue on how slow it is. It can't cross cut very well unless you EX and even then the EX loses to cross cut sometimes. I'm not cross cuts to cross up sometimes. But in combos, it is an especially a problem because since Lariat is so slow, you just don't get you just don't get to do any actual combos. Like here, I have to like even if I EX that, it doesn't work. Not like and every other character can do light light special in some capacity. I have to do like light light EX special for it to actually hit, and it's horrible. Like this just doesn't work, so I have to EX it, which then just. And even then, if I in some ranges it just will not hit no matter what. So it's very inconsistent. I think even if you do this at max range, see it doesn't work. You so you have to ex it again, like I said. And it just makes it to where his lights, his light combo structure is absolutely horrendous compared to other characters. To a point where he has to just burn drive meter a lot more than any other, probably any other character in the game. To be honest, he has to just he has to do drive rush to just get a basic 18% with like like very mediocre Oki which is not good at all um yeah I just think if Larry was faster that would solve a lot of problems another little or another little nitpicky thing maybe just make it to where like EX Larry into level 1 actually worked cause they have it to where meterless meterlessly this works and they also have it to where this still works. So I don't know why they um, just want, like don't want that to don't want level one to hit. I don't think that's on purpose or they just don't really think about it. But I think it would be nice for him to have. Um, another one is I think level one should be more consistent at catching jumps and it being faster. Because the main problem with level one now is like it's it's fine for catching like jump aways and it's not the worst thing ever at beating out neutral jumps, but it specifically struggles if the opponent is going is like falling down or they're jumping over him it like it's a it's a really bad issue i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to show you right now um let's see forward jump oh okay hold on this has actually lost me so many games one rank, okay. I don't, I don't know why this is happening. The point is, if I were to um, like cross cut with level one, it's not gonna hit here. It, it's just gonna hard whiff. So like, you either have to do this, or you have to maybe get lucky with that. But if they, cr if, again, if they do a cross a button, 
you're just gonna get beat right. You're gonna get beat right there if you do ARSPD. It's really, really bad. I just think it should be faster. Maybe have a bigger hitbox too, because the hitbox is pretty meh. Like even in certain combos, like certain like uh, longer drive rush combos, if you do like say crouching medium punch or um, drive rushed um, down forward medium punch into level one, it'll just whiff because it it just doesn't. It has like a blind spot on like the very like right on the like wherever his hair is, like his hair starts and behind that, it's a huge blind spot. So like even if they're jumping, it'll just whiff right in his right in his face. It's a very bad issue he has. Um, and another one which really frustrates me in my matches is how slow his level 2 is. His level 2 is without a doubt probably the worst, if not one of the worst reversal supers in the game for the simple fact of it's so it's so slow. Like, it is so slow to a point where, m like, most characters can do a meaty light. And they'll be able to block it in time. And some characters like Ryu, Juri, Ken, those guys, they're able to literally do a whole medium and still have enough time to block. I'll send the blocks, so I'll show you a proper example. Look, he's able to block that just because of how slow it is. Despite him doing a meaty medium, it's still just so slow that he has enough time to recover. Like, it's it's really really bad like his his like his light kick and his medium punch recover in the exact same time it's it's very bad it's not good um the damage is fine on it i don't have any other issues with this super other than the fact that it's really slow and maybe the hitbox could be a little better at catching fireballs because sometimes it it could definitely hit fireballs when it just doesn't so that's pretty frustrating um another one is maybe if they could do it to where his chop target combo is a bit more consistent at like hitting pokes because like say you are trying to play neutral and you like get a count hit like this this is just this is always gonna whiff no matter what and then if they if they notice that or like they have a feeling it's gonna whiff for that range they can just drive impact and you just get blown up because your move whiffed so like you have to be like more so around here or like even if you like drive rush it at a certain range, it just doesn't really work. Like it has to be like, like right there. It doesn't work. Um, you can't really combo. Like you can't really like, you can't really uh, do the target combo off of like a whiff punish very often unless it's like in this range right here. Um, so I think what they could do is maybe they like do a Manone type of thing where like it sucks them in forward. I like a little bit so it's more consistent. I don't know. I, I do think they don't want the star combo to be too too strong obviously considering it only works on like if you're like if you hit a meaty or you know punish counter counter hit all that stuff um another thing I think would be nice is if they make headbutt plus seven naturally because the only way to make it like better than plus six is if you hit it like counter hit punish counter drive rush or like or like really meaty like like that which isn't bad he has that's not like not like he has no options for that but it's the fact that since it's my since it's plus six, this is like the only like this is the only actual thing you can do. Sorry, like see this is the only actual thing he can do right now, which isn't bad, but it's the fact that he has to use like two bars for for this man damage. When like if it were to be plus seven, he could do something like this, which would be a lot better and it would only take an, another extra bar. Um So yeah, I think the trade-off, though, if they want to try to make it fair, is that they could maybe make it to where, like, instead of it being plus four on block, it's actually plus three on block. So, like, you lose a frame of advantage on block, but you gain a frame on hit to make the reward a bit better. I think that would be nice. Now, the next one I, I want to talk about is Bum Dress Storm. Bum Dress Storm is probably my least favorite move in this entire game. I, I think I, I truly think this one like at least a bottom three bottom four move I think this move is horrible but its main issues are these two are these two problems number one it's really it's really slow it's it's very it's very very slow like it's frame six which is not very good like you can't even use it to like counter DIs or anything like that and it's just I this move makes me sad okay um but Another big issue it has 
is just the simple fact that it leaves you so far away from your opponent. So I think one thing they could do to just make make this move better without like really changing much to it is they just make it to where Geef is closer to the opponent. Because right now this distance is pretty bad. It's it's really really bad. So if they just made it to where like he was left like say I don't know like right here or right here. That would still like make it a, a whole lot better and it'd be able to give him like some actually a pretty decent like strike throw mix up or pretty decent Oki off of a pretty useless move right now. It's I, it's an actual trail move. Um, another thing they could do, which I think would be interesting, is that they make Crouching Heavy Punch um, special cancelable with less recovery because right now I mean like 35 frames of recovery is pretty bad if they like cut off like five or so of those maybe even a little more i think that'd be fair um i think if they made it special cancelable i think that wouldn't be all that bad either because like say you um counter hit someone jumping in it jumping in on you you could do like lariat like you could do crouching heavy punch into lariat or do crouching crouching heavy punch in the level one i think that would i think it'd just be cool um it doesn't have to be anything too crazy because right now with the way this move works and the fact that it has like a like a head hurt box which most other crouching heavy punch anti-airs just do not have that problem at all i think it would make the reward on it pretty good because right now i'm i'm honestly afraid to use this move as an anti-air because of how slow it is and how much rift recovery it has so i it like resorts to like me just perfect pairing a lot which is a is a personal problem but I I feel like a lot of Geefs also also have that issue. It just makes it makes it to where Geef has to worry about anti about like jump ins a lot more than the average character when he really doesn't need to. And then you have characters like Lily crouching heavy punch, Luke crouching heavy punch, um, Kane crouching heavy punch that basically do everything for them. I mean Lily's can even hit cross ups, like what well, one more I need to say. Um, another thing I think they could do is make Smetana drop kick safer and maybe like maybe cut off a few recovery frames because right now it's minus 16 like that is so minus on block Ryu could like not even real other like I think every character in the cast could do a drive rush light and still punch and like actually punish like it is that minus and it's actually minus eight it's actually minus 18 if it's like point, if it's like point blank, point blank, so where you could even like drive rush forward and medium punch, that would actually be a combo, and he could get very good damage off of that. So it's just like the risk to reward for this move is so heavily skewed against Geef. There's no real reason to use this move outside of those big, outside like a big DP punish, or like you are trying to hit a jury doing the, doing their super. I'm not doing a super, doing her fireball. That's the only real reason why I see anyone use this move because right now. It sucks. It's it's not good. Um, one other thing I think they could do is just make stomp so low, or like maybe make it to where it's like on like punish counter or counter hit. It like just combos naturally. Like uh, say you know, um, sending medium punch because right now, it's just very like I. It's just the frame data on this move is not good. Plus four. It's like that works I guess. But then like if you do this, you're actually minus three. Which really sucks. So like, then you just have to almost like, you have to hope that this hits. Which if you don't cancel that, well, I guess I guess another reason to not cancel that since you know combos in the lariat. But my point is, I think this should be a low, um, because right now it's definitely one of his least used moves. Like, the main reason you use this move is a is a frame kill, which I don't think is a good thing. I think this move is honestly really cool. I think it's really funny, especially. So for it to uh, like mainly be used to frame kill. It's it's pretty lame. It's pretty lame considering it's a cool animation and again it looks really really funny like killing someone off with stomps or just spamming stomps on someone. It's about the funniest thing ever. And burnout is okay I guess, but like eh. Like every every move gets better on block and burnout, so I don't really I don't think that matters very much. But yeah, that's really all I had to say for Geef. I think he could honestly be a pretty decent character. Um because this design of Geef they have make him very scary. Um, it makes him do a whole lot of damage. Um, I personally think they want to stray away from his, you know, Vortex Oki Monster Command Grab character that they had before. 
but they were kind of just like they didn't really know what to do with him for this for this so they kind of like gave him some really awkward things and very finicky and inconsistent things and hopefully they understand that he does a hundred percent need buffs um i don't think anything any of the buffs i proposed in this video are like too unrealistic or too crazy um i'm not saying he needs to you know be able to combo off of his level three like this or he needs to you know do crouch and medium kick drive rush or anything crazy like that or you know make it to where charge drop kick is like plus 35 on block and then if you you know get the perfect and then if you get a punish counter you get to do the like super high damaging 60 percent combos i'm not saying that i'm just saying that for now i think season two all he needs to do is just be better at the things he has now which can mainly be solved if they just make his moves faster like that's that's the main issue he has with a lot of his moves they're just too slow and they have a lot more with recovery than they need to so yeah that's basically all i have for this video um i finally got my computer parts um recently which is very nice so i do definitely expect to upload and stream more um and even enter in tournaments i'll see how that goes and um yeah that's really all i have for this video if you like it be sure to like come subscribe yada yada all all the normal stuff thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time